Hey, Sausage Sleuth, it's me, the number one senior Sausage Sleuth, Joe. Welcome back to a Nancy Drew replay of The Secret of the Scarlet Hand. That's right, this time on Senior Detective. You Welcome guessed it. Welcome to my latest case, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Nancy's introducing playing, it for me. Either junior uh, or senior detective. You're about to come into if my backyard. Game, dear Dad, greetings from the DC. new deputy curator at Beecho Museum in Washington, D.C. I miss you, by and the way. And this is my backyard. I sure hope this letter reaches you in Wagaduga before you move on to Nairobi. So I got the internship. Your old friend Franklin Rose was offering us to submit my name to the rest of the members of the museum's board of directors. What an opportunity. That's well, I'm right. in between cases. I'm her. As you probably know, the, gal the museum with the specializes internship. in ancient Maya culture. My supervisor is going to be Joanna Riggs, a well-known archaeologist. Maya, Maya. Maya. Her That's name a good headline. Recently, in conjunction with the discovery of a strange Maya monolith. Apparently, it's created quite a buzz among my experts backyard. in the field. Well, Beach Hill plans to feature the monolith in an upcoming exhibition. Just imagine, this artifact has been buried for hundreds of years, and now it's going to be unveiled to the public for the first time. The museum is short-staffed at the moment, and they're expecting such a huge Remember when I died in this game? To prepare. There's a, lo there's a few like ways to, to die. this exciting project and learn how <laughs> archaeologists and historians solve the mysteries of ancient cultures. I'll keep you posted. Love, Nancy. Nancy Drew, I presume. Nancy said, okay, I'm Joanna Riggs. On. Welcome to Beach Hill. It's a long intro. Nancy said, I was just checking the lock. So on it was this January 5th. <laughs> this is one of the museum's most treasured pieces, a carving of King Pakal. Who was King Pakal? Pakal assumed the throne at age 12. Can you imagine? That was 615 She's screaming AD. at us. He ruled for 68 years at the height of the Maya civilization. Is that Jade? Yes, the Maya loved jade and used it for many of their carvings. There isn't another piece like this in the in world. The shadows. And it's priceless, wow. which means I practically lot. had to sell my own grandmother to get it. Yeah, let's How did the get, museum acquire it? Let's get more voice lines layered Leave on top to of this. Leave Taylor Sinclair. He's a wizard when it comes to these deals. You'll meet him later. I just don't know why we had to now be that then, close. Now Nancy, you're coming on board at a critical time for Beach Hill. An exhibit of this caliber is not cool kid story. stuff. Franklin Rose assures me you're a real trooper, and I hope he's right because I'm not here to babysit. I don't care who your father is. Period. Oh, should I say any? Let's just stare at her for a while. Thanks, Hayden, for the sticker. Half Moon Foe and Glenn. Uh, thank y'all for those, all those fartins and stuff. <laughs> I appreciate it. She. This is one of those games where... They actually did a pretty good job, like, leveling the audio, but they did so in a way that they, like, used a hard limiter, and it's, like, crunchy. It's all, like, a little bit loud and crunchy. Let's let the silence simmer. She just said, um, I don't care who you are, where you're from, what you did, as long as you do your fucking job. I'm glad to be here. Please, tell me more about the exhibit. In addition to our permanent collection, we're borrowing rare pieces from museums and private collectors around the world. Soon we'll be sitting on the most fabulous collection of Maya artifacts ever assembled in one place. And now that we've scored the monolith, too, Something about Beach that. Hill Sora Numero Uno. All right. So they want to have the, the largest uh, place of Mayan artifacts. So was it excavated in Mexico? Was the monolith excavated in Mexico? How did you get yes, it, Yes, a Joanna? Hot young team of archaeologists, Americans and Mexicans both, dug it out of a cave near Palenque. Every curator from here to Siberia was trying to get a hold of it, but I'm the one who closed the deal. Is the monolith in the room with us? What does this monolith look like? It's a massive pillar of stone, nearly 1,500 years old with Maya glyphs Did carved into it. Did she stone that it. monolith? We've installed it in the garden. <laughs> Wait until you see it. Did she stone that monolith? Hymns everywhere on that monolith, stoned and hymned. Could you explain what a glyph is? A glyph, <laughs> as in her wig is a monolith, is a picture that represents a word or an idea. Henrik is the human encyclopedia on the subject. 
Henrik. Oh, he's the one who falls off the thing, right? Bless. I'm so excited to see that. That was probably one of my top 10 moments in Nancy Drew gaming history is when Hendrick drops. Nancy goes, is he going to jump from there? <laughs> How many glyphs are there in all? Henrik Nancy, can help you uh, with that. Henrik death drops. Who's Henrik? Henrik Vanderhoon, world-renowned expert in Maya hieroglyphics. He's the latest addition to the Beach Hill Brain Trust. I told him I don't even want to see his pointy Vander head till he's got a translation on that monolith. World-renowned homosexual. And <laughs> was it Henrik Vanderhoon? Pointy. Pointy Vanderhead? Where was he working before? You don't need to At the call Chaco names, Chaco Canyon Cultural Joanna. Center in New Mexico. Anyway, there's a list of tasks for you in the lab. Once you've knocked those off, we'll regroup. Not shouldn't I have more training? No, I don't want to ask that. Shouldn't I have more training? Don't worry, you'll be in the swing of things soon enough. Go ahead and take a look around the museum. This is like me at jobs. I'm sure you'll find the monolith, Mui and Terrasante. Or just roll up your sleeves and hit the lab. Uh, thank you for the orientation, Joanna. I'll talk to you later. I don't need Thanks advice. Thanks for the orientation, I think just Joanna. every job... I'll talk to you later. Bye. I like it when they tell you to just... Is there a mosquito over there? It's been in the 60s, like one day. And if there's a mosquito... Do I have any tissues? Y'all are going to hear this. Okay. Okay. I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that is, but it's dead. Mama, after we're playing that point and click yesterday, I think the plagues are coming for me. I think the ten plague. I got them coming at me now. It's on. <laughs> She's having fun. This is also... A lot of the Nancy Drew games, you hover over people and they stare at you, which is disconcerting. The Great Plaza of some of something. I'm playing this game. Y'all are seeing this larger than I'm seeing it. I'm seeing this game in 1040. No, 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 no. 640 by 480. This is a little box on my screen right now. So that I can play it in windowed mode. Very cool. She really has a lot of things, huh? Where did you get these things? Where did you get such things, Joanna? And why are they in your office and not out there? Art in the Americas, in Guatemala. Prudence, so... Is this supposed to be Prudence Rutherford? How did a New York Society woman like you end up in Topeka, Kansas? My husband, Herbert Laszlo, was a hydro engineer. Uh, what is she? Just assuming, never took his name. I was never one to worry about conventions. So this is... Oh, God. The necklace originally belonged to Herbert's mother, Hester. She had... Wait, it was an antique necklace that she had altered? As a jewelry specialist? So I, I felt like I was going to be strangled, so I added a piece for my own family to balance out the energies. As a jewelry specialist, well, as someone who walks, watches a lot of Antiques Roadshow UK, we don't alter. Topeka Commission for the Arts, how cultured. We don't alter the antique jewelry. Cut that resale value in half. You must be referring to that extraordinary jade piece. Wait, shit. So the piece 
add a piece from my own family. <laughs> That's not from your family, sis. <laughs> My great-grandfather, Ruffleton Rutherford, was one of the premier archaeologists. No, no, that's not from your family, sis. Your family might have stolen that, sis. <laughs> this jay carving, ground groundbreaking digs at a Mayan ruin. Carved by real Maya hands. Isn't it great that it passed through on its way to 21st century Topeka? She said, part of my heritage? This Mayan? <laughs> Jay well, it's a glyph. It stands for a number of things. Snake, green, south, and I'm not sure what else. Some things remain off of it. Oh, yeah. Yeti out like Yeti. Y'all into Yeti mugs now, or y'all still doing Stanley? The necklace, one of my most prized possessions. Can't bear to have it locked up in some old bank vault. Thank you for the interview. Poo poo pee pee. Doo doo wee wee. It's always nice to hear from Prudence. Do I have anything? Come in. Didn't know I had to knock. How are the tasks coming along? I haven't seen the list yet. Well, get cracking. The Not, last deputy curator was like a tempest list. in a teapot around here. Caused me nothing but grief. What kind of grief? What kind of grief? I'll tell you about Sunny some other time. Sunny June. Would we got a soundboard for him? <laughs> I've got work to do. Carpe diem. Oh, can I look at... I can't really look at her desk yet until she leaves. I need her to get out of here. All right, let's see if I remember my way around the old museum. Ah, yes, the audio tour. Pretty small museum, honestly. I notice it's down on the National Mall, but is not part of the Smithsonian. So we're just pointing that out. It's, didn't we look up the address? The address is actually where, is it where the Smithsonian Castle is? The audio tour. Super ooby sabooby. Uh, okay, I'll go find the list first. How does he jump? He has to jump. Is that where he falls from? Because in order to fall from there, he would have to, he would have to jump outward like a good 20 feet. <laughs> you know, he got pushed. Well, well, if he, well, okay, fine. I won't victim blame him from falling off the top of the, excuse me. He gets pushed. He must get. To get pushed like that, you would need to be in an old medieval type of catapult. An old, old maiden type of catapult. Oh, down the stairs? Oh, I guess I don't remember it very well. I can't read the safety precautions, so I'm assuming they don't apply to me. <laughs> That's not for me. Order ASAP. Uh, okay. Oh, lovely. I haven't. I'd, I'd better check to see if I'm done with. I didn't fin. I didn't finish it yet. I bet. I didn't finish it yet. Got it. Brit Steps, thank you again for the bids. I appreciate it. Sassy Chef with the uh. gift sub. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Mountain of Joy, thank you for the bits. Oh, and appeared. You have handwritten notes for senior detective this time. Well, I might have to call you up on that. Thank you so much. Pianist Leah, thank you so much as well. 
Juicy Jules. First time sub. Thank you. Thank you. Great to have you here. I like doing the shards. Bring addenda to monolith loan agreement. Oh, the addendum to the mon to the to the consulate. Ordo bubble wrap. I didn't finish it yet. Match narrations. Oh God. Reorder reorder the numbering exhibit and Sunny June of course drew things. Check voicemail often. Mm. You have no voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. This game doesn't just give me the numbers, does it? Oh, that's nice. Who's that? Adinda. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? I'd like to speak to Franklin Rose, please. I'm sorry, but Mr. Rose is out of the office. Would you like to try back later? Sure, thank you. Have a great day. What if I had said no? Would you like to try back later? No. You have no <laughs> voicemail. Press no. Nine one one doesn't work. Let's see what all we can steal. Oh my god. Oh, there's a handle. Come on, Nancy. Eat it. She not eating it. That's is this Sunny June's old notebook? He really just leaves a lot of clues around. Oh god, notes, notes, notes. I hate that bull something. It's all random, or is it? Try Pascal's triangle. So this is a triangle. Oh my God, this looks like the leader, which is a Marvel, um, a Marvel Comics character. <laughs> okay, oh my God. Okay, so that's, that'll be helpful later. Okay. Well, let's remember his notebook. Well, Pedro Pascal's triangle is kind of like um, um, the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> it's the Da Vinci Code for um, uh, Mayan stuff. Oh no! No! <laughs> No! Do you know what I, 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 uh, uh, I forgot. I don't really like, um, puzzles that you need an instruction manual for. <laughs> no! I don't really like puzzles that you need an instruction manual for. Sheila Schultz. So we're just getting our bearings right now. Is a is an old maiden type of thing. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. I got in trouble. Buy milk. It's a dairy. It's a dairy heavy office. It's a very it da like dairy heavy office. The ho oh, is there a man in the room with me? Hayden, thank you for the bits. <laughs> this I do appreciate it. Judy, thank you for the bits. Yeah, I don't remember much about it. I'm excited to uh, kind of see what it was. Oh, some of the pieces are missing. Well, that's on my... Oh. <laughs> you must be Nancy, the new deputy curator. I'm Henrik Van der Curator. Pleased to meet you. What are you working on? Just some light housekeeping. Nancy's... Why are you wearing that mask? Nancy's anti... 
anti-masker. <laughs> Why are you wearing that mask? Oh, these dusty old artifacts are murder on my allergies. Uh, anyway, what can She's I do for you? She's an anti-masker. Um, I'm not sure what to do I'm with those shards sure of pottery. I'm not sure what to do with those shards of pottery Joanna left for me. You Play around glue? with those pieces until you've reconstructed the pot they once were. There may be a few extraneous pieces. Likewise, you may find yourself on a scavenger hunt for a piece or two, if I know Sunny June. Yeah, his, his shirt and his pants. He kind of looks like he's naked under that lab coat. I can't seem to find the addenda to the monolith loan agreement that I'm supposed to bring to Alejandro Del Rio. Sunny June bobbed around this place like an untethered balloon. Wait. Who knows where he left those documents? You think Joanna's You'll just hot? have to hunt them down. And FYI, Senor Del Rio has been extremely touchy about this monolith loan, so try not to keep him waiting. Let's see. Do you know the deputy Did you curator? Know the deputy curator who is here before me? Hurricane Sunny? I'm afraid I did. If he wasn't losing paperwork or setting off the fire alarm, he was cornering our visitors with his theory that the Maya were abducted by aliens. I'm afraid you'll be cleaning up his messes for a while. Y'all are wild. Eris, thank you for the bits. Good to see you. Cosmos, I'm about to Mythbusters, Henrik's fall. Judy, thanks again for the bits. Yeah, I love Prudence. Notorious BFO, 46 Aww. months. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Always great to have you here. And Bearded Gus, 41 Aww. months. Always great to have you here too. I do appreciate it. Thank y'all so much. Can I give that ham radio a try? Absolutely hog, hog, not. Hog. The radio is a tool, not a toy. One has to be extremely careful about the kind of information one sends out over the airwaves. And I do not have Whenever time we do the to ham you. radio. And besides, you have the to vacuum chant tube's hog. been terribly fussy lately. If another one blows, I think I'll go mental. Oh my god, I should get the voice mod thing ready for this game. And I should talk into the ham radio with the with the CB radio voice mod thing. Um, I'm pretty sure I know how to do Joanna turned me two of the things. Too many instructions. Do you have any advice for me? Well, as you've probably heard, the museum is closed in preparation for the exhibit, so you'll have free run of the place. I wonder if they Please did a background explore. check on me. The sooner you get to know your way around, the or better. Or they just hire Think teenagers. Of the lab as your home base, your center of communications. Anyone who wants to get in touch with you will leave a note or a voicemail here, so check in often. I'm very busy with my work, so you're going to have to be pretty independent, but I suspect you wouldn't have it any other way. See you around, Henrik. Bye. Do we know how old Henrik is? Because he could be anywhere from, like... 30 to, I would say, 55. Not the periodic table. Me pulling this hose off the wall, me going, hey, hey, what should I do with this, Henry? <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey. I need a wig on so I can tuck my hair behind my ears. Hey, hey. What do you think I should do this? I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. Why is she suddenly having second thoughts about messing around with stuff <laughs> without permission? Why now is she having second thoughts? All right, let's do the task list. Easiest to least easiest. Let's order bubble wrap. Sale on bubble wrap, so that's 202. Oh my god, it's a 202 number! <laughs> that's DC, mama. Oh, here's more stuff. The microscope doctor. Did they say anything about the microscope? Say anything about the microscope? No. Alright, we'll do this first. Love. Ordering packing material.
Whoa, whoa, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know how to use a phone. You have no voicemail. Press nine for an So I don't need to do the 202 part. Silvio's curatorial bonanza. Well, I think they are introducing a new a new area code to DC. So now you've got the people with the 202s and then whatever the new one is. I'd like to place, an, like order, to place an order, please. Have you ordered from us before? Um, I th think so. Yes, I think so. We have an account number. Okay, good. That saves me a lot of paperwork. What's the account number? Do I know it? I guess I know B -H -1 -1 it. BH-119-K. BH-119... BH-119-K? Beach Hill? Are you serious? You sound surprised. I guess you were expecting... You sound surprised. Sunny June. I guess you were expecting Sunny June. I was expecting Beach Hill to settle its accounts with me. About six months ago, I've sent all six of the outstanding invoices to a collection agency. And you jokers won't get another pack That's of gonna peanut out credit of Silvio score. Jr. ever. Do not call here again. Y'all, I have an amazing credit score. <laughs> okay, I'll check I that off. Check to see oh. what you've done with that. <laughs> if this were me and I was an intern and they told me to do that, well, and first of all, and I'm not getting paid, I I would check that off the list after that conversation. I would check it off the list after that conversation. And honestly, some of these things that are on this list, I wouldn't even do and I'd still check it off. You're not getting paid. Try what, calling again? Why doesn't this telephone save numbers? Silvio's. How about how long? This is Nancy. How Jill. much uh, is the money? You know offhand how I'll just much call my dad. You? I thought I told you to beat it. Silvio Jr. is through with the whole lousy bunch of you. Does he refer to himself in third person? Because that's fun. I have his number memorized for harassment purposes. Oh. <laughs> I have his number memorized for harassment purposes. Silvio's Curatorial Bonanza is open from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Oh, shit. Please call back during Does this regular game have time? Hours. Does this game have time? Can I go home? Me not doing... Okay. Here's what you do. None of your work. <laughs> Henrik watching me just... Having a breakdown, Mama. I'm a millennial. You can, and they gave me a list of more than two things. I'm unraveling. <laughs> Henrik just watching me open and close the door over and over again, spinning around in a circle in the middle of the office, looking at everything. He's just right there, and I just. You should have known better. I'm a millennial, and you're not paying me. It's game over. Sort out the shards. Oh, yeah, we gotta do the addenda, I guess. Can order. I guess we need to talk to Joanne about the bubble wrap. Yeah, let's just try to focus on one thing. Oh, I have a time over here. It's only 345. If they close it, if they close by 345, then they deserve to go out of business. <laughs> If you're a business and you're closing at 3.35 on a weekday. 
How are the tasks coming along? Um... She doesn't even tell him about the... <laughs> okay, I guess. I've got work to do. Carpe diem. <laughs> no, I'm being surprised that I can read an analog clock. <laughs> yes. In fact, I'm able to read this analog clock. All right, I got to find some shards of pottery. And probably the best way of doing this it's is locked. <laughs> she said the thing is probably not the way that I am doing this. Well, this one wasn't locked. <laughs> Mine. Eh. You will find that thing on the black market by tomorrow at noon. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, we gotta remember. We gotta figure out the alphabet at some point. Fully set. Well, I mean, it was already stolen. I'm just stealing it again. I mean, technically, it was already a form of stolen. And so I'm just adding to its history. <laughs> I'm just adding to the history of it. It's locked. That's fun. There's some fun stuff here. That's fun. Hmm, if I were pottery, pottery shards. I mean, it's really bad that they, like, misplace stuff in this museum. Honestly, you, you, you should just get closed down if you, like, constantly misplace stuff in your museum. I need to poke around anyway. I don't really remember my way around. Oh, yeah, I just... Nancy runs down the street to Pottery Barn. She gets a different pot. She breaks, She shatters it. It's bright pink. And she glues the pieces of it into this broken pot. I think that's okay. Is that okay? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I remember this being outside. This is fake outside. Holy shit. I remember this being outside. This is fake outside, right? Do they just have a... Do they... Is this real outside? Wait, I'm playing indoor-outdoor. I can't look up. It scares you back here? I'm sorry, I have to be back here. Are you sure this isn't fake outside? Because I think this is this fake outside. Oh, God. Y'all know I love to go places and I love to play inside out, inside outside. Oh, shit. I love to play inside outside. Nancy just crab walked around the entire statue. <laughs> Nancy just crab walked around that entire statue by f and faced it the whole time. And faced it the whole time. She said, don't take your eyes off her. I know about her. Don't take your eyes off her. Stealing something else. Alright, let's go in the pyramid. I need to familiarize myself with the location. Exhibit design sounds like a lot of fun. 
Oh, yeah. Games. Oh, pottery piece! That's fun. That's like, um... That's like how we have Funko Pops. I need to find a temple key card. Oh, I'm not doing that without the temple key card. It seems like I need like two pieces. It's oh, locked. Yeah. An old maiden type of Funko Pop. <laughs> yeah, you know. Food of Sparkle Juju, thank you for the bits. Always great to see you. I appreciate that. They make the big Funko Pops. You know about the big, they make the big Funko Pops and they freak me out. I don't like them. I do not like them. They make me feel weird. I don't know what it is about them. They make me feel weird. Okay, in the import export business. Uh, oh, Cherry Bob, thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate that. Great to have you here. Whitney, thank you for the bits. Have fun at the zoo. Oh, my God. Mountain of Joy, thank you for the bits. Good to see you. Kit Kat Moss, thank you so much as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I remembered that. I hate, I just hate that it's... I just don't feel like time means anything. Every I should be able to do everything all the time. You know what I mean? Oh, sunny stuff. Pottery piece. Me staying after... Oh, a floppy disk. Is that it? I want to do every... What's that movie called? Everything, everywhere... All the stuff, all the time, all the t places. <laughs> Everything, everywhere. Anytime. That's not where I wanted to go. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Thank you. I liked that movie. Well, I need to turn around, so I have to actually go out the door and then back in the door. Now, he's gone now, isn't he? Oh, he's working late. There. Now I can start putting this together. Oh, I remember this. I have to sniff it out in three dimensions. It should spin, right? <laughs> this is the stupidest thing. This is... This is... This is... Mama. The depth perception is not perceptioned. The depth is not perceptioning. Oh, I love this, actually. Never mind. What she's holding it together with? Girl. Top 10 thing. Maybe I need to get this bottom piece in first. She uses Gorilla Glue. She uses Bubble Glue. She's got one of those, um, the baseball chews or whatever. Sad. That's done. Thanks for the sticker. Who did that? Emily, I appreciate it. Uh, well, I did one thing on my to-do list. I think I'll go to my hotel and take a 10-hour nap. I don't like that. 
Because that means something. Oh, yummy chocolate. Coco. Co Coco -co Kringle. I haven't finished that task. Ugh, and I can't. Honestly, I can't be arsed. Mm, I think they've told me a couple times now where the addendum is. But I, but something about that. Oh, locked. okay. Well, it's probably in there. I don't know. Let's go see if what's her name's in her office. Sometimes the clicking. Sometimes the clicking's not always where you want to be. Okay, so we know that. Wait, does that say outdoor, indoor? Garden. Oh, boy. So we that's no more clues than I had. I don't know if it's indoor or outdoor. It's locked. Are these, um, Topeka are these? Commission oh. for the Arts. That's the organization Prudence Rutherford works for. Peter Popper. Are any... Oh, Nancy Drew fan 123. Screaming. Judy, thank you for the bids. The live action Mrs. Potts Funko Pop. No. No. I will not be looking that up. <laughs> I didn't see the live action. I do not claim that negative energy. That is the metro! <laughs> we have a gorgeous metro. Like, the actual tunnels and stuff is gorgeous. Um, now there's something about this. One thing I like about this metro map is it doesn't have the silver line, so you can't go to Dulles. <laughs> One thing about this map... This is my backyard. This map's not very good. Um, it's... Well, it's honestly not the worst. It's not super inaccurate. The silver line's not on it at all, though. Um, but that just means you can't go to Dulles, and thank God. And thank God. Uh, no, DuPont's on the red line, which... Oh, Nancy's kind of staying in DuPont. Actually, Nancy... The, so this is this is incorrect. It should extend further up. It, they haven't done a very good job at de depicting um, this way this way of width this width very well the height very well. But um, no Metro Center. She's around Dupont Circle. <laughs> Dupont does not exist yet. Mama DuPont existed way before we were all born. L'Enfant? L'Enfant? Emily, thank you for the bits. Oh, I know. Yeah, and it was a mistake. We should never have let people go to Dulles. <laughs> Mama, the airport's too far. But they got some great rates to Europe, I hear. Oh, I'm at my hotel. It's a, the Holiday Inn in DuPont Circle. <laughs> ah! I'm screaming. Y'all, I want to take y'all on a walk. I want to do walking tours of D.C. But, but it's nothing historical. It's like things that I think are stupid. Um, I did one thing. I made one phone call. I fixed one pot, and then I started to unravel, so I went home to take a 10-hour nap. <laughs> well, depending on the temperature, if it's cold, we can walk faster, but if it's warm, we will be walking slow. I need a disc. I need a disc. I need a disc. I need a disc. Mama. <laughs> 
Let's not click in with her because that's a. Is this a disc? I need a disc. I need a disc. Oh, it goes in this hole. Sorry, I was playing. So I play indoor, out. Yeah, I'll show you where the Buca de Beppo used to be. Nancy's probably not far from that, just north of DuPont Circle. She's gonna go. You're gonna go DuPont Circle. You're gonna take the red. Can't check that off yet. You're gonna take the red line from Union Station. You're gonna go towards Shady Grove. You're gonna get off at DuPont Circle. Thanks, Casey. I appreciate that. <laughs> You're gonna go to Kramer Books. You're gonna look at their dessert specials. Now, remember, it's a large slice of cake. You're going to buy a book about the history of D.C. You're going to throw it in the trash. You're going to go across DuPont Circle. You're going to go to Second Story Books. You're going to find a signed copy of a book that was dedicated to Mitch McConnell's wife. <laughs> it's a secondhand bookstore. You're going to buy it for the story. I, that actually, I did that, by the way. I have a book about Paris that the author dedicated to Mitch McConnell's wife. And I found it in the bookstore and I said, I gotta buy that. She clearly threw that away. <laughs> she got rid of it. <laughs> well, I said, it's a story. I said, I love a little something with a little piece of history. Y'all don't taste that? That history in your mouth? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, like a handwritten from the author to, I don't remember her name. Mama, and that's living in D.C. Mama, and that's living in D.C. Mama, sometimes I look over on the bus... And, I sit, and I'm sitting next to George Washington. <laughs> and, I, and then I immediately look to the person. I look to my right and I see George Washington sitting beside me. And then I, and then I turn to the person to my left and I go, oh, only in D.C. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin lived in Philadelphia. But he did shock that turkey. I, I look at the front of the bus. Alexander Hamilton's doing poppers. <laughs> Dad's friend, Franklin Rose. As, sorry, I'm playing the game again. Calm down. <laughs> Volunteer as an assistant curator at the Beach Hill Museum. The museum is preparing an exhibit. Met my boss. The number is this. She makes a joke about 555 five, five numbers. Gotta do the pottery. Whoa, there's no scroll bar. That's a problem. Be sure to check in with Bess and George. Okay, so did he have the password written in his notebook? Mama Thoma Thomas Jefferson's on Grinder. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson's on Grinder? He's on Tinder. You swap left. Wait, is left go away? It gives you a hint. Is it Coco? It's Coco Kringle. Oh, that is a cute doggy. All I have on my computer is the notes okay, app. Let's move on. And honestly, that's the only one you need. Jasmine, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Sorry, I haven't used the apps in a long time. I'm married. I don't know how they work. Um, <laughs> Coco Kringle. I'm a hacker. <laughs> I'm a hacker. Sorry, that's just me though. Abraham Lincoln at the Leather Club? 
Mr. DuPont in DuPont Circle. I don't even know what DuPont Circle is named after, by the way. JR is hounding me to get this done. I can't keep all of them straight. The headphones help me figure out. And the Convomatic machine and the storage will let me change what plays. So where am I going wrong? I definitely know that these match. That seems like something, something about that is I should take a picture of it. Well, it looks like he did it all right. Uh, dear chat, is this, this is, he did everything right, right? Oh my God. I wish Nancy could, could get this information on a cell phone so that I don't have to come home every time to see it. There's only five I need to figure out. Okay. Bye, Gigi. Glad you got to be here. Thank you. Brit Steps, thank you again for the bits, too. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Each dot is an individual fingerprint. Here's the catch. If it doesn't look exactly, it, then it doesn't count. Oh, my God. Some gods also represent numbers. One has fish. Uh, so I will need this eventually, but I don't think right now that's for a different puzzle. Oh, God. Drought, plague, or oof, UFO? How did it disappear? Also, there are, there are still... There are still Mayans. <laughs> They're not modern-day Mayan people. Maya were sophisticated astronomers. It just scrolls forever. There's just enough room for everything. The answer to the level two quiz questions about the matchmaker and Henrik isn't speaking to you right now. He's way too touchy about the ham radio. Can't find the exhibit that has the answer. Join us, no help. Oh, system login, S. June, space baby. Don't you love it when you get at a Samuel Francis DuPont, right in a Civil War. Move to Rockford Park. DuPont family. It is a pretty fountain. Oh, and they fixed that fountain and it's on. Y'all go see the DuPont fountain. Well, that's good to know. Um... Don't you love it when you get a new job and they're like, oh, we'll have to put you in the system. And they literally never do. And you, it takes them like a month to be to have you put in the system. So you just can't log in or you have to log in as someone else. It's like, you knew, you knew you hired me. You should have had that done before I got here on my first day. You knew that you hired me. I didn't just show up today to start working. You <laughs> did that, Princess Jasmine. Not best not answering. No, oh my God. And you can't access like your online, anything, anything online. Yeah, I know she's probably asleep, but it's not even, I think it's technically 745. Well, I guess by the way, this watch works, it might be 845. 
So it's so we're in East Coast time zone. She's probably in Central time anyway. Where does Nancy live? Where she, where's River Heights? So it's probably not even eight o'clock where she is. I mean, to be fair, don't call me after 6 p.m. <laughs> ah! Illinois Central Time Zone. To be fair, don't call me after 6 p.m. Can't really look at much in the room. That's sad. I love big hotel mirrors. I love really looking at them being like, that's what I've been looking like. So it's 9 p.m. right now, so it's 8 p.m. for her. You know what? Let's go easy on ourselves. Let's take a 24-hour nap. <laughs> You know what? I worked my first, I did my first day on the job and I just really needed a 24 hour nap. So now, so now I'll wake up for the, for the next day. Y'all, you got to treat yourself. That's called self care. <laughs> I'm a millennial. <laughs> I'm a millennial. Oh, can't go anywhere else yet. Nancy might be technically, is she Gen X? Or is she? She's a boomer. <laughs> Franklin gave me the museum key. Why am I walking around holding up this fucking key? Oh my god, it opens her up. Oh, ah! How are the tasks coming along? I can't seem to find the addenda to the monolith loan agreement that I'm supposed to bring to Alejandro Del Rio. Check with Henrik on that. She's ageless, timeless, defying boundaries. She sure, she sure likes to cross boundaries. <laughs> When did Henrik come on board? I got an email from him one day saying he heard the news about Beach Hill getting the monolith. He said he'd drop everything to come here and translate those glyphs. He was even willing to take a pay cut. What could I say except giddy up, you're hired. She said, I love work done fast and I don't like to pay people. I've got work to do. See you around. See you around. What can I say? I love it when people work overtime and I get to pay them less. My favorite part of my job is underpaying my employees. <laughs> I see you succeeded in reconstructing that Maya pot. Oh yeah, I forgot you to tell know you. What the glyph on it means? That was two days ago. <laughs> no, I was hoping you could tell me. Place name glyphs are some of the rarest and most difficult to translate. Even most of my colleagues wouldn't have a clue about this one. Ah, uh, but I'm a rare breed myself, Nancy, and this is one of my areas of expertise. In the words of Nicholas Falcone, come on, spill it! The glyph on that pot signifies the great ancient Maya city of Copan in Honduras. There happens to be a very important dig going on there right now. That's fun. Um... Do you know any of the archaeologists there? I have a few connections, yes. I'm keeping up with the action by ham radio. Y'all really like that lumpy meatloaf on top of his head? Y'all really looked at that lumpy meatloaf on top of his head and say, let me jump on that, daddy. Work. I'm supposed to order more packing supplies, but the company says they won't do business with us anymore. <laughs> Does Beach Hill have bills it can't pay? Uh, no comment. 
<laughs> yeah, Gus. Chat has been nothing but gooning over Henrik. But Henrik, how am I supposed to get this order taken care of? I hereby absolve you of that task. Yes. If Joanna wants things shipped, she can stuff them into garbage bags for all I care. Eat shit, See Joanna. You around, Henrik. We'll do. Talking shit about the boss together, we're bonding. Can I can I cross it off? Oh. <laughs> Eat shit, Joanna. Exactly what I thought. Oh, uh, let's try to log on to the computer. Oh, there's not a computer. Do y'all know how to use a computer? <laughs> Is there not a computer? I could have swore there was a computer on the desk. Howdy. Okay. I'm not sure how to go about rearranging those exhibit narrations. It's really quite simple. Oh, Check Jesus out the Convomatic Christ. auto this narrator in shipping and receiving. You'll need some headphones. First determine which of the exhibits in the main hall could rightly be called Exhibit A. Change Exhibit A's narration number until you're seeing what you're hearing, or hearing what you're seeing, and it's all downhill from there. What is the Spectro X Archeo Analyzer for? It's used for identifying chemical compounds that are Blood. found on artifacts, Blood. traces of ink, blood, charcoal, and other substances. The beauty of the machine is that it can collect these traces Paragraph. without damaging the artifact in any way. But it cost us a fortune, so don't fiddle with it unless you get Joanna's permission. Did I like him in the first Let's Play of this? Was I like... See you around, Henrik. I suspect you will. Was I like Team Sexy Henrik? Because I don't remember that. Oh, Fartville. Oh, I'm glad you woke up. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, the mouse movements. Nancy Drew games on the television are great for cats because they love watching the mouse. <laughs> no, I forgot. I don't feel like you care about any Nancy Drew suspects. No, I like Dave. I think Dave is hot. Well, I mean... Uh, he's so stupid, though. <laughs> I wouldn't date him. Judy, thank you for the bits. I missed the one ang exact angle I needed to look at the monolith from. Okay, I'll go relook at it. What do I need to look at it for right now, anyway? Was that on my task list? Time to crab walk around the monolith. Oh, looks like this side is missing a part. Oh, buckle up. Nancy Drew, <laughs> or should I say Detective Drew, I'm Sinclair. Y'all probably find him hot. Y'all probably, I know it. I forgot. Who told you I was a detective? I was at a meeting with the BOD recently, and I got oh, wind of Frank. your appointment and your credentials. Very impressive, if I do say so myself. He's got a he's got an eyeliner pencil, and he just yeah, juicy lips too. The bot. Let's ask him about the bod chat. How about that a bod? B -O -D? That would be the board of directors, those cranky old cats. They do keep the ducks squared away around here. I'll give them that. So, how's this for a specimen? Ever seen a million dollars worth of rock before? Um, I'm rich, sweetie. Do diamonds count? Ouch. Well, they did say you were sharp. Seriously, though, thank goodness you're here. I'm afraid a the vintage... museum may be in terrible jeopardy. Oh, I'm sorry. An early 1900s vintage rotolite garnet? 14 karat gold ring? <laughs> Not worth that much, actually. It's the garnet. What kind of Jeopardy? Joanna told me to butt out, but I'm so fond of Beach Hill, I just hate to see it fall prey to scoundrels. Are the scoundrels in the room with what us? scoundrels? It's a sensitive subject. Meet me in my office later and I'll explain everything then. You've got me worried. 
Can't we talk now? Just meet me later. 707 Bing Cherry Boulevard. I've got to go. Enjoy your first day at Beach Hill. I've never heard of Bing Cherry Boulevard. Time to crab walk around the monolith. It's locked. That's the final exit in the temple game. Ooh, fun! Pretty tiles. Time to grab. <laughs> that is Nancy. Is today the third day? Did he say meet me? I was only half listening to him. Oh no, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, sometimes you get stuck on the monolith. Oh no, 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 and you keep get you keep getting drawn back to it. No, 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 no. Uh, Y'all know I'm gonna cheat for the audio cues stuff, right? I That is one of my least favorite puzzles ever. I, whenever I go to a museum, and I have to go a lot because when people visit, they always want to go to the museums. And they want to do those fucking audio tours. I say, you know what? I'll go it's 900 degrees outside, but I'll just wait outside. And I'm going to lie face down on the, at the National Mall and let a horse shit on me before I have to listen to this fucking... <laughs> Audio tour. I'm gonna go lie face down in the mall and let a food truck run over me. Okay, I gotta go. They really... Putting the save and the load on the same screen is really something. There are amazing food trucks down at the National Mall, too. If you are ever in D.C., like, you'll probably go down to the National Mall to go to museums, but don't even, don't even bother. <laughs> Y'all, don't bother with the museums. Go to the fucking food trucks down at the National Mall. Every morning at, like, 4 a.m., they start lining up, and they park there all day. You can get a snow cone. And the best kebabs you've ever had. Oh, where? what am I doing? Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I just had to tell y'all about that because they are so good. Okay, that machine is... Here it is. Old maiden type of machine. Y'all, don't even go to the museums. The aerospace is still under construction. Drop your kids off at the carousel and go to the food trucks. Okay, now well, I think I took a picture of this. I'm just giving y'all the tourist tips. Okay, exhibit B. I know exhibit B goes with narration one. And I don't have to listen to it, right? Okay, good. It just stays. I need I know E now. E goes with Oh, B was supposed to go with 8, by the way. And E goes with 1. F goes with 6. So that, oh shit, did Sunny already do these? No, no. Stay in the middle. H, oh, Sunny already did, Sunny already did the ones that he typed out, right? I goes with three. We don't know J. We know K and L. Oh, he actually did a really good job at his job. And honestly, well, he probably didn't. These other people are haters. Okay, the six I don't know are A. It 
If I were to guess what they are, y'all, I'm, I really hate audio tours. <laughs> I would rather do a slide puzzle. This is the, I would rather do a slide puzzle. I'm just letting you know. Oh, don't worry. I managed to, someone, so I actually went to the Her Interactive Forums. I'm not using Game Boomers. I'm on the Her Interactive Forums. For all I know, one of y'all could have posted this on this forum 10 years ago. We have a very significant portion of the Nancy Drew Clues crew in here. And this could have been actually one of y'all giving me the answer from the past. Oh, why does this say D equals seven? I thought I knew D. No, I don't know D. I, mean, I knew E. Spill it. Spill that username. C, G, E, F. G. None. And J, G, H, I, J. Oop. 13. There, that looks like it's in order. Looks like it, it to me too. Good, and we got the music back too. See, you can't expect me to do an audio puzzle and there not even be music playing in the background because how am I going to drop these sick dance moves? I haven't finished that task. How am I going to... How am I going to... Oh, I got to do that. <laughs> how am I going to drop some sick dance moves? Did the audio tour this was a worst? Not this, Tori! Not this! Oh. Oh. Sorry, I just, I was playing with it. No fooling around. No tomfoolery. I just dropped my vintage early 1900s Rotolac Garnet ring. <laughs> No fooling around. That's enough fun for today. No more fun. That audio is going to be so much work. Oh, Hurricane Sunny. So he did these things for the audio. And the last thing I do is the numbering thing, right? No more fun. Yeah. No more shenanigans. Once the, once the antique rings start dropping... Once the antique jewels hit the floor, your fun is canceled. <laughs> well, what time is it? Oh my God. <laughs> 10 a.m. at work. I've been at work one, well, no, I've been at work three hours and I'm spiraling and I'm already like, should I go home? Should I lie and say I'm getting the flu? How are the tasks coming along? Oh, I've got God. work to do. Bye. I'm going to go see that man with a mustache. I love it! And maybe he'll give me some cookies. Oh, Muggy Bunny, thank you for the five freaking uh, gift subs. Uh, I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. We are getting to that sub goal. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all have been wonderful this month. Y'all are always wonderful. Thank you so much. Let me tell you about the old, um, well, before we go in. Wait, where are, did we go to, did we go to Virginia? 
Um, the old subway cars, the doors don't have, like, if they close on you, they close on you. They do not have, they do not have, uh, body part detection like elevators do. And one time, they did not open the door long enough. <laughs> I'm telling the same story again. I'm telling the same story again. My bag got stuck in the door and they would not open it. And it was like stuck, stuck. Those things clamp it. Mama, you have to run. Scary fucking shit. Sorry, it was the same story again. You know what? Every five gift subs, I'll tell you the same story again. <laughs> it's about time. Oh, my fears are like maggots infesting my poor old carcass. Want a cookie? They're from Oaxaca. Oh, yeah, I hate how you can't say yes. No, thank you. You said Beach Hill is in cookie. jeopardy. I need to know why. The art world is being ransacked, Nancy. Prudence Rutherford, a major patron of the arts, had her fire ruby necklace stolen from her villa in Topeka. Two weeks later, a whole display case full of rare Maya artifacts was heisted from a museum in New Mexico. What does this have to do with what Beach does Hill? What this have to do with Beach Hill? I'm just telling you, this community, our friends and colleagues, my people are being systematically trounced by thugs. Who's to say Beach Hill won't be next? You've got to do something. No, Will. That is scary. Oracle, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. That reminds me of the time that my bag got stuck in the doors on the metro in D.C. I was at the airport. And my rolling bag got stuck and it would not come out and everyone was staring at me. Everyone was staring at me. Does Joanna share your concerns? I've urged Joanna to approach the board about making some security upgrades, but she just keeps saying that the timing isn't right to ask for money. Oh, I like the D.C. airport. Well, D.C.A. I'm not going to Dulles. <laughs> I've never been to Dulles. I just like talk, you just, everyone just talks shit about it. I understand your concern, but what can I do to help? We need your eagle eyes. We need your bat ears. We need you to sniff out the stink of trouble. Mom, I'm smelling something stinky right now. It's the poopy. Down my leg. <laughs> I appreciate the vote of confidence, but I'm just a detective, you know. I'm not bionic. Yeah, he's Don't weird. This is a weird thing to do. Me. Modest mouse? <laughs> Most people call me Nosy Parker. But anyway, tell me something about the art business. Is that a contemporary painting? You bet your socks it is. Would you believe I dug it up in my backyard? Oh, uh, no? No, but I could humor you. I guess that would make the painting a genuine artifact. How about that rubber shark? The artist's name is Poppy Dada. She's a teenager in South Dakota. The art world is going bananas over her stuff. I'll unload that one for some serious dinero. Is Poppy Dada Poppy her Dada. Real name? I don't know. I'd better get going. Bye now. Man, it's just... If someone told me a teenager made this, I'd be like, oof. I thought a five-year-old made it. <laughs> I'd have been like, oof. You, I, I thought a five-year-old made that. Woof. Want a cookie? I'd better get going. See you around. Farville, thank you for the bits. What is on his tie? I can't tell. 
Not shorty. Cosmos, thank you for the bits. Oh, what was the poll? Y'all like Ned more than Sinclair? I like Ned more than Sinclair. <laughs> That's valid. <laughs> That's valid. Uh, Judy, thank you for the bits. One Nancy Drew YouTuber ranked the audio narration puzzle as one of the worst in the whole franchise. I don't blame him. I agree with him. I would agree with that. Oh, holy shit. I was at his... Oh, is it PM? Is it? Night? No, the sun was out. Yeah, and she's still here. I was there an hour. How are the tasks coming along? Oh, wow. I've got work to do. Carpe diem. Okay, my last task is I have to renumber these. And I actually need to look at my laptop to do that. Howdy. I'm curious about your work. How do <laughs> Tell you Tell me about more about like what you like anyway? and stuff. It can be a complicated process involving research, piecing lots of different elements together, and a healthy dose of guesswork. So there isn't a definitive not dictionary of Maya glyphs where you can look things up? Oh, I'm afraid not. You see, glyphs are so intricate and full of subtleties hey, bud. that multiple are meanings may be embedded discreet? in a single glyph. So three distinct looking Thanks, glyphs spring may pause. all translate to mean sunshine, roughly, but with different nuances. There is so much we still don't know. Lucky for me, I guess, or I'd be out of a job. See you around, Henrik. That will be fine. <laughs> so, what are you doing after work? <laughs> so... Where's the party after work? Kids homework. <laughs> Not this, Judy. Thank you for the bits. Not this. Um, thanks, it's the OCD. Thank you for the bits. Nancy drew Secret at Shadow Ranch book and there was an actual cowboy character named Bud. I believe it. Bud's a great name. Hey, Bud. Oh, I need to actually look at his disc. Bud, great cowboy name. Okay. Can she not print this out or something? Does she not have a dot matrix printer that she carries everywhere with her? Because it would be insufferable to have to go look at. I mean, it's a laptop. Just carry the laptop with you. It's a laptop. This is what I need to do the numbering thing, right? God. It can't hold a charge. <laughs> oh my God. Can't hold a charge larger than longer than 10 minutes. It runs on two AA batteries. It's that Tama- oh my god. It's that Tamagotchi. It's that Tamagotchi laptop. With the 8-bit screen. Black and white. Uh, I'm dilly-dallying a little bit for this one. I. This is not where it would be on the map. If 
I got to decide the plot for the next Nancy Drew game, what would I make it about? They're never going to ask me the voice act. I don't enunciate anything, and that's fine. Um, I would like them to go to... Um, I want it to be Da Vinci Code. I want it to be like a, a straight one-to-one ripoff of the Da Vinci Code. I want Paris. I want a car chase. I want someone jumping off the Eiffel Tower uh, with a parachute, of course. Oh no, you, you didn't miss it. I'm, I'm still here doing at least something. Oh, Ned wouldn't even be in it. There would be nobody, there would not even be any mention of Ned. I'd better check to see if I'm done with that. Reorder Maya numbering exhibit in the main hall. Okay. This is scribes. This is inkwell. Well, and every character in it would be gay, too. Nancy, the Hardy Boys. Oh, God. I can't even imagine what they did for Secret Files. Secret Files 3. <laughs> I have to take a break between those games. Uh... Where is the... Oh, is that the number? That's not the numbering exhibit, is it? No. Well, if I had done the audio tour, I would probably know where it was. Yeah, we're kind of talking Dream Nancy Drew game. Can y'all tell me where the counting thing is? I, I'm, a, I'm lost. I definitely did something in a flop way. It, it's... No. Is it the only one I haven't looked at yet? Is this counting? No. Oh, really? I think there's a I think there's an actual numbering exhibit, isn't there? Maybe I'm misremembering cuz we have to know all of the numbers. Let's go. I'm going to go read it again. It said I hadn't done it yet. The audio one was a different one. Oh, yeah, Australia. It's at the end of the aisle, not on the sides. Okay. Yeah, that's different I'd than the, that's the narration that. one. All right. I like have a vague memory of this numbering thing. Somewhere, somewhere in my head. I'm like Anastasia singing that song. I think I just looked at the exact same thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Imagine walking in, walking into Nancy trying to navigate this museum. The f oh, the far end, like on the wall. Oh my God, am I remembering? Not like over here. It's at the back of the language aisle. 
<laughs> okay, that's gods. Let me let me look. Let me stew on this. Kings rituals. Language. I'm stepping into the language hall. Numbering system. Thank you. Okay. Two. So that's zero. So it's zero, one, two, three. Okay, okay, okay. And pull up my notes. This puzzle's crunchy. It's also got a, a, a pinging sound that is not really easy on the ears. Zero looks like a turtle shell, but no turtle. All right. And now there are different gods that represent different numbers. So one, one dot is one. Um, but the bars mean something too. A bar with a dot next to it is five plus one equals six. So three bars and a dot is 16, yes. Dot should be on the left of the bars. If it doesn't look exactly like a dot in a bar, it's not a dot in a bar. None of those count. Sometimes there's decorative marks. Ignore anything. That's not a bar and or a dot. So these tur turtle shell looking things, I'm ignoring that. Let's look at the gods. One, fish lips. <sighs> what? They all kind of have fish lips. Ultra Tour Bomb. Thank you so much for the follow. Louder is better. Thank you for the follow. Rena Gorna, thank you for the beards. Mountain of Joy, thank you again for the beards. Oh, Judy, thank you. If you're calling in DC, use the same If you're calling out, use the hotel. Okay, got it. Brit Steps, thank you for the bits again. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So one has fish lips, a really big nose, and a set of good teeth. Can't relate. Don't they all kind of have teeth? They all only have one tooth. Okay. Two would just be two dogs. Oh no, this is one. So we have one, perfect. Two, I don't see just two dots. Maybe we do those first. So this is five, six, this should be seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it was already there. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six. Yeah, no, that's seven. This is 12. Oh, how come the number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, because they start at zero. That's why my brain is one off. Okay, but that is seven. That is twelve. That is one. This one's eleven. Um, okay. 5, 10, 15, 16. Six, 13, 14, 15. So 16 is here. This is 16. This one's 17. That one's 18. 1, 2, 3, 4. This one should be 4. They said none of these designs matter. I remember hating this puzzle, but I'm kind of vibing with it now. 
Although I do wish I could, if this were up to me, I would take them all off and put them off to the side. What is she doing? What the fuck is she doing? This is five. That one's where it needs to go. We put that one there. Wait, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Is this four, nine, ten, that's 14. This one's 10. This is 12, that's 11, 12. 10, 11, 12, 12, 14, 5, this is 15, 16, 17. Okay, so now it's the face ones we need to work on. Okay, so the first one I need to do is a two. Two is, has a big hat with five fingers and a semi-oval on it. Uh, probably this one. Three. Three looks like a doctor. <laughs> I'm guessing this one. Y'all, what is that? that? You know in the old maiden type of doctor stuff? Where the doctors have that. It's just to, it's, it's, is it to reflect the light? It doesn't have a light in it. It's the old maiden type of hat. How are we supposed to get this without cheating? Well, I'm using Sunny June's notes. I'm not cheating. Not for mind control. I thought it was to reflect the light too. Let's see, number six. Where's an eye patch with an X on it? Okay, he's already there. Number nine. Has a beard or acne? <laughs> All right, both of these have a beard or, ac or acne. But that one has like a thing at the bottom. Probably this one. Isn't there one that takes place in L.A.? Where's the soap opera one take place? I don't remember where the soap opera one takes place. Oh, New York. That's right, because of the taxi drivers. Has a T on the cheek. That looks right. This museum can eat shit from my hand because I am amazing. How do I leave? That looks right. <laughs> Joanne can eat shit out of my hand. All right. I think they've told me about 10 times where to get the thing that I need to do next, but I haven't I listened. haven't finished that Oops. task. Bring Adinda to Monolith Line Agreement. Okay. I think they've... This is exactly like me at work, too. I'm not listening. Howdy. Mm. See you around, Henrik. I suspect you will. Okay, do y'all know where to get the Adenda? Adenda? I feel like it's in a book or something. In a folder? Do I need to call him? No. Her? It's to the left of the main entrance. Okay. Thank you so much. Would have never poked around in there. Just this company leaving important documents on the front fucking desk. Not here. Behind the desk. Drugs. Oh. Not drugs. The knob is missing. I need something to get this open. 
how did I do the audio thing without the knob? <laughs> but how did I do the audio thing if I didn't even have the knob on there? Is it in Joanne's office? It's on the seat. Oh, okay. How'd y'all see that? I didn't see that. Aren't there two seats? Oh! Really? Really? This important fucking piece of paper? I better deliver this to Alejandro right away. This incredibly important piece of paper just turned into a paper airplane? No, that's fine. I asked where it was. That's I wouldn't have found it. I forgot it was there. <laughs> Everyone likes to kind of scream in DC in general. So, they're just they're they're just uh, they're just accuracy. The history of ownership, provenance. How may I help you? Um, if there were going to be a hottie in this game, it would be him. But he kind of gives, like, wax figure vibes a little bit. Not <laughs> smashed. Not this. Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. The new deputy curator over at Beach Hill. So, you're Joanna Riggs' newest pirate in training. How does it feel to join the ranks with the modern-day conquistadors? I beg your pardon, but how does a deputy curator become a pirate in your book? You had better brush up on your history, young lady. When the Spanish explorers invaded Mexico, they became known as the conquistadors, or conquerors. They robbed the indigenous peoples of their wealth, not just their gold, but their artwork, their sacred objects. Anything they did not steal, they burned to the ground. Read her. Teach her. But that was hundreds of years ago. <laughs> Nancy telling him how to feel about it. Not Nancy telling him how to feel about it. Do you blame Joanna and modern day art collectors for something that happened long before they were born? I want you to sit born? down. There is I more. Want you to shut In the 19th century, archaeologists discovered the ruins of ancient civilizations predating even the Aztecs. Thanks, Brent Many Pons. of the dig sites were robbed, and the stolen artifacts were sold off to art museums and collectors around the world. Today, finally, it is illegal among most civilized nations to remove an artifact from its native country. But sadly, there are thousands of precious antiquities with highly questionable provenance floating around the Western world. That museum in London, feeling pretty nervous right about now. <laughs> Is that the, just the London... What's that museum called in London that everyone's always talking about? What do you mean by questionable provenance? An artifact's provenance is the story of its origin and ownership. For example, how it made its way from a the temple British at museum? Chichen Itza to a museum in Washington, D.C. If the artifact's provenance the reveals loose. that it has been stolen, then that artifact must be returned to the country of its origin. Oh, I'm sorry. Just because I'm British means I'm supposed to know every single mu museum in Brit Britland. <laughs> I'm sorry that I didn't know about one museum. <laughs> the VA, the Victoria and Albert Museum. Then the relics at Beach Hill must all be Britland, right? No, not at all. Provenance documents are often tampered with or forged to cover up the theft. Because of this, thefts continue and a great deal of art is moved on the black market, even today. Unethical art dealers and greedy museum curators do nothing to stop this. Are you suggesting Beach Hill 
is involved in these kinds of misdealings? Are you suggesting Beach Hill is involved in these kinds of misdealings? <laughs> if Joanna Riggs or that overstuffed pillowhead Sinclair had any decency, they would take measures to see that all Maya artifacts were returned to Mexico at once where they belong. She won some of these issues for a while. <laughs> She's, she said, let's brush that under the rug for now. Well, I think I'll anyway. have to chew on some of these issues for a while, Alejandro. In the meantime, I do need you to sign off on these changes to the loan agreement for the monolith. Oh, do you mind? I am still not happy that such a rare find will have its debut exhibition on American soil. But in my country, too, there are people for whom money talks. I will take those documents now. I guess I should give him the contract. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I have some business should with I have read his the notes? museum later, so I will return the contract Was that to a clue? after I have looked it over. I don't mind. I'm supposed Actually, to Alejandro, take it back. I think I'm supposed to take them back to Joanna myself. You may consider your mission accomplished. Well, I don't get paid, so well, I don't really uh, care. Okay, then. Goodbye. Well, Joanna yells at me, and she also doesn't pay me, so... Sounds good to me. Cash money, Alley. 25 oh. months. I appreciate that so much. It's always great to see you. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. Is that a Lady Gaga song y'all keep talking about? I don't know what y'all keep saying. Uh, is that paparazzi? <laughs> y'all keep singing paparazzi? Oh, I'm done. Oh! What time is it? Four? Beach Hill been ah! hit! Sit tight, Nancy. The police are on their way. How many people were scared? Meanwhile, me too. I was really, really I've got scared. like, I've got like five Mayan tiles stashed up my asshole. <laughs> Meanwhile, I went, I went around the museum picking up Mayan tiles. They all just fall out of my ass at once. <laughs> Thank you so much again, Cash Money Ellie. Great to see you. Uh, small Squad, thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Oh, boy. I should talk to Joanna before I touch anything. Scarlet? That's more like a, um, maroon. More like a light burgundy. Like a red wine. Like a light red wine. <laughs> take to the Someone arm. Someone has cooked up my worst nightmare and served it to me on a plate. I'd like to have a look at the crime scene myself. Did the police turn up any clues? The police took some samples for the crime lab, but they couldn't promise any overnight results. So if you want to put your little magnifying glass up to the scene, it's fine with me. Great. I'll go ahead and get my fingerprints all over everything. What were their initial findings? Who knows? Right now, my priority is to get a move on this insurance claim. Why did you become a museum curator? I became a curator because I want to help make artifacts available to as many people as possible. That's all that matters, isn't it? Unless you're Alejandro Del Rio. Do you think Alejandro would go to extreme measures, like stealing, to reclaim Mexico's artifacts? Who knows?
Oh. I've got work to do. Bye. She said I will not gossip. All right. First things first. Let's taste it. Oh, <laughs> let's take it. First things first. He got that tile before I could steal it. Someone stole that tile before I could steal it. Oh, when does he start falling down? Is it tomorrow? Oh, I'm gonna go home. You gotta taste it. When you're looking at a crime scene, you gotta use all your senses. Taste. Smell. Hearing. <laughs> Don't y'all love that bit? I used to do that during Dead by Daylight. Y'all ate that bit up. I love people who get tiles and frame them. Honestly, it eats. When I see a framed hand-painted tile, I think you're rich. I can't even joke about playing Dead by Daylight anymore because, um... It's not April Fools. Oh, how we laughed. When does Henrik fall? I want to, I want to at least do that part today. We're getting close to the time where we split this into the second video. No, that's still a ways away. Just go to the garden. I had to take a nap. I worked hard yesterday and then I got robbed. I had to take a nap. In the street. I mean, I, I do. I have dinner plans. <laughs> I got things going on y'all don't know about. Why did you tell me to go outside? Oh man, I'm getting sick. I'm going to have dinner with my in-laws. I have a very rich and fulfilling social life outside of this. Thank you very much. Going back into the museum is a trigger, but you, I have things I need to do before it happens. Okay, that's fair. He, j he stops coming into work, doesn't he? Something about that. Well, now, well, that'll be a good way to make people tune in for part two. I'll be like, ooh. You want to see a man fall down some stairs? Need something? Have you seen Henrik? I found a piece of paper inside the Pakal display case. It had some glyphs on it and a print of a red hand. I'm hoping he can give me a translation. What am I, fish food? Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. Sorry, Joanna. Great. Can you okay, read this? Okay, great. Did you happen to see the thief's message? The police showed me the note. It said, the magician suffers Nina. yellow death. Whatever that means. Apparently, the thief just couldn't come up with the glyphs for, the curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. 
I'm curious about the red Maybe let's just the thief left. Run a hand, a fingerprint checker. Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis on it in the lab? I haven't seen Henrik since the theft. Bye, Where Tori. Do you think he could be? Who knows? She just really sent me away. Okay, fingy print analysis time. Detective Drew is on the case. Crime scene investigation, Drew. Say no more. This is what we call an analysis. An analysis. Look in thing. Science is happening right now. Okay, I've got a graph of the chemical used for the handprint. Now I've got to match it up with a known substance. Easy. Let's compare it to some known substances. Oh. Do I have any known substances? That's what it is. That's it. It's HGS, which is hydro gay hydrogen gay hydrogen <laughs> uh, homo gay sexual sexual relations cheap g i don't know what hg hgs is according to this chart oh. hg stands for mercury Um, and the S? S stands for sulfur. So Mer the mercury sulfide. From mercury oh. and sulfur. My dad used to play with mercury. And I'm fine. What was I doing? <laughs> and I'm fine. Need something? I did the chemical analysis you suggested. That red hand was printed with a compound containing mercury and sulfur. Does that mean anything to you? Sure, sure, cinnabar. The Maya would rub it into their most important carvings to add definition to the artist's lines. Is the cinnabar in the room Where with us? Where would a person get a supply of cinnabar? We use cinnabar here at the museum the same way the Maya did, to keep things as authentic as possible. Henrik orders those kinds of supplies, but we've been out of stock for quite a while. The last I heard, there was some kind of holdup with the distributor. I've got work to do. Bye. Bye. So I need to call someone about the cinnabar, right? Call. Is that right? I heard Cinnabon. C oh, Nancy's at this. You'll catch Nancy at the Cinnabar. Cinnabon. All right. Well, I will do that. Well, we're gonna have to make that phone call in the next episode. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. I love Cinnabon. I am so hungry right now, too. Okay, we will do that in the next episode. Um, no stream tomorrow, but then when we come back, it's Stardew Valley. And on Friday, we're playing a Chilla's art game. We're playing the convenience store. So we're going to be do some, some spooky, spooky stuff. Love Cinnamon Toast Crunch as well. A Cinnabon bar with cinnamon rolls on a conveyor belt. <laughs> Not this. Oh, let's save it. It's just so there's visual proof. Y'all have to bear witness to me saving the games. It didn't even lock up. This is great. Usually when I have to like finagle things to run it in window mode, it can be a little unstable. But seems like chat was the only unstable thing around here today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we do have fun. On that note, oh no!
we do have fun. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you for the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all are freaking amazing. I really appreciate it. I'm enjoying this one. So I'm excited to play more. We'll be playing more next week. Uh, but stay tuned. Stardew Valley on Thursday. Chill is art on Friday. Uh, exhibit self-care. Stay hydrated. Love y'all so much. I will see y'all on Thursday. Bye.